talk about matchups, how you deal with X and how you deal with Y and all that jazz. Yeah, definitely. I, I can definitely see that. It was just so so stunning for for to hear a, a, ma a majority of people thought that like they were at each other's throats for oh, yeah. who's the best Luigi. SoCal, it gets a bit uh, competitive. Competitive, competitive for little, sure, yeah. Yeah, a little competitive. Speaking of competitive, <laughs> look at these two tryhards. <laughs> <laughs> Lucina Wolf. This is, like, what is this, week one of Ultimate? <laughs> I mean, both these characters are still very solid. Lucina, uh, definitely the opinions of Lucina has faltered in the community. Like, some some people think Lucina's still really good. Some other people don't. I Lucina mean, I technically did get nerfed. A lot of people don't talk about that. I'm going like, to shout out Larry's video. You know, he has a video called, Is Marth Better Than Lucina? Oh, okay. That's so clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Lucina is better. Uh, I mean, wow. y'all should watch the video. Oh. Why not? <laughs> Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. That, that is a good title, though. I will say that is a good title. Oh, man. Okay, this is good damage here for Larry. It's the ledge trap, the back air. Larry is so damn good at getting these back airs, man. Like, when I, like he he kills so much people with back air at, like, 80%, 70% with, like, the sweet spot. He's so good at that. Especially at the ledge. I do not understand what... I don't know what That's this it. man goes through that, that made his back air so strong, but here we go. Aladdin picking up the stock, forcing Larry off stage, hitting him with the rinse repeat. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, right here, I mean, the, the Lucina off stage against any character, so potent. Um, you have any any up B that, like, snaps you back to the ledge extremely fast, has a hitbox, and if you get, like, specific hitboxes of up B, you can combo it into, like, ledge drop, double jump. Back air, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It, it's it's really really strong. Anything that just resets you to ledge instantly. That's why tethers are so great for edge guarding. And Lucina, obviously fair and bare, just amazing edge guarding tools, right? You've got the disjoint. Oh yeah, definitely. Look at that. But Paladin continuously trying to juggle Larry, trap him uh, in the air. Larry able to land. And now Paladin's turn to, to get these ledge guards. Swinging with those back airs forward airs, just keeping Larry to the right side of the stage. That's really gonna be the game plan from Paladin until he eventually closes out the stock. You see how far back Vladin has to fade to catch Larry drifting in like high off these ledge drop double jumps, oh. off these ledge jumps. Vladin's like running center stage sometimes. And that whole ledge trap sequence was just really great awareness from Vladin and really capitalizing on Larry wanting to force his way in high mm -hmm. and just doing a great job utilizing the uh, disjoint. Most of the time, Wolf can get away with that. Uh, but because Nair is just such a great landing tool, right? But yeah. when you've got that disjoint, you've got to respect it. I mean, it seems to be a, a very common, a very common scenario for our, for our higher level, top level players. Because I think we even saw something similar with Domset, yeah. where he continuously uh, retreated to center stage just to cover for the the high recovery. Oh, side B at the ledge. Larry, Larry at a low percent. It's not oh, gonna be able to kill, but here we go. Oof, Larry was wide open there, but the down third. You get the four tilt. Oh, the ledge drop double fair immediately coming out from Vlad. And Larry still needs to seal out this stock right now. Okay, oh, back throw maybe. Yeah, it's, good DI. Yeah, good yeah DI. that was really good DI with the jump as well. Oh, we were talking about man, still getting that chip. We were talking about Vladin's really positioning and how he drifts back to cover uh, Larry's higher approaches. I like the way that Larry will actually drift back just enough so that uh, the Aladdin's up E won't clip him. Right. But still be in enough pressure where like, maybe he's gonna throw out an F-tilt. Maybe the dash attack. Dash back, yep, look at that. But the way, the way Aladdin played his ledge traps, super center stage focus there. He, he definitely kind of went for something riskier like a rising back air there yeah. to catch ledge jump or anything like that, but Man, he just played it so well to the point. And, like, the whole time he's doing this, he's picking up on the timing, picking up on the tempo of which Larry's trying to pick his options. But, man, that that second stock was very clean from Vladin. And then it was kind of back and forth, but Vladin just really didn't give Larry an opening to get any F tilts. Well, I don't know if you're surprised. I'm not, Charles, because when in doubt, the bird comes out. The bird comes out. How many times has the bird bailed Larry out of and, these and tournaments? And he claims system? that there's no type of agenda. There's no... No agenda. No Falco Illuminati. Yeah. None of that. If you guys... All right, chat. I, I need to know, chat. Is is the agenda real? Yeah. I think it's a... Uh, Only the chat knows. Only the chat knows for sure. Oh, man. That, that Nair... Oh, my. We're the still going. We this are is the cutscene. 
Ooh, and he he missed the up air there. I think he could have got like one or at least one up air, maybe maybe two. Oh, up tilt might have been able to hit that. Okay, drifting back again to center stage, looking away to see where Larry's going to be recovering to. Oh, going for the extended. Hey, oh, that broke. Yeah, you are done. Fully charged. Doesn't matter where on the stage. Valadin with the shield break. Larry kind of chipping in with a couple lasers. I even saw a double laser. Oh, Take nice. me back to nice. brawl. I didn't know double laser was still a thing. It, it's like, I mean, it's a thing. But it's, <laughs> it's like, a thing, but it's, it's not like. It's not broken like it was in Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we sink the back air. Doesn't matter the character. Larry's going to be barren out here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like a, one, of the, one of the things that a character needs for Larry to actually pick up a character. And that is, in fact, a strong back air. I, like the, I actually like oh, that Larry. No jump. No jump. No jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was, that was really good on Vladimir, like utilizing that intangibility in the air um, uh, with the upbeat. Just right the moment he felt threatened, just went for it. For it. But Larry's still, still taking the sequence on here. Oh, the back air, but Vladimir with the slight drift back. The up tilt back air should do the trick here. Good DI on Vladimir's part, but Larry, you hit, him, you, you, you hit him with the check on the DI, but it doesn't matter. Larry was ready for the in DI and hit it. Yeah, Larry, of course, you know, being such a seasoned player, he's going to be able to follow your DI nine times out of ten. But hey, if it's that one time, then you're going to be able to escape with your life. But yeah, whenever you see, like, those feathers start swinging, those chopping up, those chops, like, you know Larry's going for your life. That might not be a double jump there. Larry tried to, yeah, yeah. So he, he caught a ledge drop it. double he jump there. It. Yeah, and he tried to just finish the stock off. Really good recognition from Larry there. Very, very close, but Vlad barely skids by. Early recovery, been able to chase off Larry, make it back to the legend. Here's another back air. Okay, Vladin, where are you going? Where's Larry going? Oh, this is no back air. I I want. I guess back air might have not been enough there, or maybe an input Larry, an input air by Larry. But nonetheless, still an in, entire stock ahead. The forward air, it won't do it, but this is a great position to set up for an edge guard. The the laser to push Vladin back as well. Oh, shoulder check and put Vladin right back on stage. Going for the illusion wow, to hit a track. trade, but it doesn't work out. Larry looking to end this game to up air clips on the chase. Yeah, at this point, you don't need anything too crazy. I think that's just a stock. Yeah, no double jump. Just hit him with the F tilt. I like how safe Larry played it towards the end there. Once you hit that, like, 120, 130 with Falco, eventually an up air or eventually a forward air is going to kill. You don't need to go for anything too crazy. Like, if the backer comes, the backer comes, right? Like, so really good stuff. Being very, very patient. Um, I thought we were gonna see Larry like maybe try to go for like a runoff air, which I was like could be a little runoff bit runoff nair, right? Some a little type of multi hit, yeah. It is it is risky though, right? Like you could get that up betrayed, you could get stage back and lose the stock. So I kind of like how Larry just played it really safe and was like, well, eventually I'll get the KO here. Even and I like you want to utilize the rage too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Utilize the rage, but also like you want to maintain that stock lead just in case Vladim pops off, right? And you have that insurance. All right, so game. Number three. Okay. Pokemon Stadium. We're back, baby. All right, yep. We're just throwing out some lasers, getting the chip. It's always nice to, like, throw, like, some certain checks against sword characters, right? Like, okay, you're clearly just waiting for me to run into your mid range, which is where you're the strongest. But if I got a projectile, you know, I can, I can, uh, I can kind of force you to try to force the mid-range on me, right? Right, that's very true. You know, force your opponent to approach, and that should put you in a better position. Here we go. Oh, uh -oh. there's the up tilt. Up, double, double. up air. That was a, that was a, it, you, he might have been able to get double jump back here there. But, yeah, I, I like just going for the double up air. It's safe damage. Okay, you still have double jump. Yep. Ooh, the late, I like that. Because Larry knew that probably not going to come in with an aggressive, like, air drift in. Mm -hmm. So just throw the laser out. It's pretty safe in that scenario. Up being in between the up tilt. Very nice from Aladdin. Really showing that Larry cannot be uh, throwing out up tilts for free on Vladin's shield. And that's a good statement to make. Yeah, and I like how Vladin, even even though you're getting hit by these lasers, you don't, like it's it's chip damage, but like it's nothing like wolf laser, right? Like you're not taking a ton of damage. Ooh, wow, what a- Larry lands one. That, that is not easy to do. Like <laughs> you, you do not react to Lucina Uppy. You you <laughs> kind of guess. <laughs> yeah, you guess when it's gonna happen, um, when you're gonna double because they can do it at any point of the double jump as well, right? So very good stuff from Larry. The hard read cashing out big here. Yeah, see how much damage Larry can get. If he, if he can avoid these back airs that Vladin continues to put out, 
especially in like this mid-range, then you know we're really gonna see this lead extend. Nair, of course, putting the lead no back on stage. No I think double jump needed. What that clipped? Okay, the backer still connects, but wow. I I thought after the laser clip it was like pretty much done, but it was seen like clearly grabbed it. <laughs> that wasn't even close. Like it was no, just like yeah, I'm back. Like what up? <laughs> Like no, no pressure even necessary, really. But of course, Larry able to clean up, and now Vladin taking Larry stock down a full stock. Though he's gonna yeah. have a mountain to climb. This is gonna be, this is gonna be tough. Larry getting the reset here. Okay. Larry is feeling the pressure. You can just see the aggression and momentum that's in his favor. Vladin trying to go for instant double jump up air previously. The down air. I mean, look at all this damage, man. Vladin's gonna need some a uh, really big opening or. Just play extremely solid. Maybe an edge guard. Breaker. We haven't. Give me, yeah, give, me another, give me that shield breaker again. Yeah, I mean, is there? Okay. Oh, oh. no punish on that neutral air dodge there. You know, I like that. Most players would see that they actually hit Larry and would like try and push another button, but Vladim retreats to center stage just in case. Whoa. Uh oh. That di. Okay. There. there? Let's okay. Go. Okay. That the edge guard. Edge guard is asked for, and it is received here. Good air dodge, but that's going to be a frame trap. These lasers are so good. They they are putting Vladin in like really weird spots off stage, and yeah, just, uh, is that enough? Yes, it is. The shield poke, or maybe Vladin tried to do feel something. Like he, I feel like he pushed the button, or he, he just let go too early. Yeah, yeah. Stuff that that Falco forward air is extremely good for ledge trap. Getting jumps. You know, like if, especially if you're space two, you got to worry about the earthquake hitbox. There's, there's so much to respect with that forward. In air, the right? corner too, it's just, it's so much more deadly. It's ridiculous. It's like crazy. Who Larry, thought that was okay? Larry, like, it feels like Larry kind of starts off sets going a bunch of different characters, but it always just comes back to the bird, you know. When in doubt, yeah, the bird comes out. And I, I think that's the scary part about Larry. He's so. He's so proficient in so many different characters, right? We've seen the Brawler, we've seen the Falco, we've seen the Wolf, obviously, right? Right, um, right, right. Yeah, it's just it's pretty crazy. And I've even seen Larry bring out the plant, too. That's not, like, a super common one, obviously. But, like, he, Larry does have a bunch of curveballs he can throw out. He does. And the fact that it's, like, 